Hey, today I'm going to show you how to export any object from Blender into Unreal Engine 5. In Blender I have these simple buildings. All of them only have two textures. One is the window texture with actual texture map. And the other material is just some metal texture without any texture maps. You will see later what the difference between those two materials are. First we select all the materials we want to export. Go to File, Export and select the FBX file. In here we want to make some changes, change the path mode to copy and also select this button over here. This will copy all the textures you have. Include the object only to selected objects. Scroll down and under geometry we will change the smoothing from normals only to face. If you want to save this preset you can just hit this plus button right here and call this one Unreal Engine 5 export. After that just hit export FBX. Alright, here we are in Unreal Engine 5 and the common mistake most people do is just open up the folder and drag and drop the FBX file into the content browser. But don't do this. If you do this and just press import all, this will happen. As you can see all the objects are imported successfully and you can also drag all of those in the scene and you maybe think, wow this looks actually great. But if you take a closer look and select only one object, you can see the origin is always in the middle. So let's select all different types of objects, but the origin is always in the middle. So if you want to move this object or even rotate it around or scale it up, the origin is always at the wrong place. Of course you can move all the origins separately by hand and then place them correctly, but this is way too tedious and there is a way simpler solution. The right way to do it is go over to File and select the Import into Level. After that search your folder with your FBX file and hit Open. In this window specify in which folder the objects should be imported and then a second window will appear. In here we have a scene, a static mesh, a skeletal mesh and a material tab. As you can see we can specify which materials and which static mesh we actually want to import. We have way more options on how we want the models actually to import. If you're not really sure what all those settings mean, it doesn't matter, the default settings are perfectly fine. If you're happy with your selection, you can press import. After your objects are imported, you will always get some errors. You do not care about this, you can just close this window. And what's different to the method before, we have a second window with a blueprint. In this blueprint all the models are saved exactly the way they were in Blender. And this blueprint even helps you to have a more organized scene. Because now as you can see over here, we only have this FBX scene city buildings blueprint and not dozens of different models from all the buildings. And you can maybe guess it, if you now select this object you will First select the blueprint, if you double clicked on one object individually you can move this one around and as you can see the origin point is exactly in the middle. You can easily rotate it now and scale it up and everything works perfectly fine also with all the other buildings. Now let's look at the materials. If we open the window material we can see both texture maps are imported correctly and also connected to the right path. If this is not the case, you maybe have to manually import the textures and connect them, but normally this should work perfectly fine. The other material we had is the metal material, but as you can see we have a problem with this one. If we open the metal material, we can see the metallic and roughness control have no values. This is because Unreal Engine can actually read the principal BSDF from Blender, so it doesn't recognize the metallic and roughness values. In this case, you would have to put these in manually. Luckily, this is super simple, just right click and type in constant and select the first one. And now we can plug this value into the metallic slider. This value here represents the same value as the metallic slider here. So we can just type in 0.78 into this slider here and the texture will get the right metallic value. Let's duplicate this and do the same for the roughness. The roughness here is 0.38. Let's round this one up. So 0.38. 
the last thing we need to change is the base color. Normally this gets imported, but if it doesn't get imported, we can just select the base color in here and copy the hex code. Then in Unreal Engine, you can just paste it into the hex code RGB and hit apply. Now, as you can see, the metallic value is applied to the texture and, and it works perfectly fine. Just be aware, if you use color ramps in Blender, Unreal Engine also can't read those. So I would highly, highly recommend only use materials with textures and texture maps because those images will also be recognized by Unreal Engine and the transfer is more smooth. Still, sometimes you have to change different values manually because the transfer between Blender and Unreal Engine is not always 100% accurate. So anyways, this is how to import all types of objects from Blender to Unreal Engine. I hope you could learn something today. If you have questions, write them in the comments and I see you the next time. Peace out.